the keynote address was given by Dr. Peter was really remarkable and useful. So only really so many messages we could uh, see uh, popping out, giving the excellent remarks uh, from the uh, note of Dr. Peter. This is a worthy goal for all our interpersonal relationships. A worthy goal also to have this webinar, especially the field of communications. As our Holy Father, Pope Francis has invited to have a heart of listening. And this Signis Asia has given the heart to listen through this webinar, to have our cues for our mission in today's world. First, I'd like to thank Dr. Peter for his wonderful paper and the remarks is well thought and well presented. And it was a pleasure to read and to think about it. And it is remarkably clear structure made it especially easy to understand the responses. So dear sir, thank you for your wonderful contribution to the church. Secondly, I'd like to remind us that his responding to the message of Holy Father was personalized. The Holy Father emphasizes that for healing the wounds of the soul, the greatest need people have is to be listened. He therefore concludes that the duty to listen is the responsibility of many people, parents, teachers, pastors, pastoral workers, and those who provide social or political resources, services, and of course, those who work in the media. And thirdly, his point was very specific. He has incorporated the vital elements of the Pope's message, how it motivated him to have the art of listening. He was very specific about the key message and takeaway points. Even many people from the forum also has given the messages of uh, taking away lessons. He suggested the participants had a tough art and how some of the speech takeaway points would help us stay beyond and energized. Fourthly, it was genuine. He discussed the key speech concept and how he felt after reflecting the message. He used the adjectives like motivational, informative, memorable, and entertaining, which brought his message alive. It reminds me of the Ignatian spirituality places much emphasis on listening. In the uh, Ignatian retreat, the first week of retreat is called to listen. Then only we can have the discernment process. Ignatian spirituality stresses listening, first of all, to the Lord, who can be heard speaking in many ways and in all circumstances and in all true people. His strength of the focus is that come from a perspective that central to the message brought a broader than of it. He can help us see ourselves as to have a heart of listening and it is a call to respond to the art of listening. When I reflect the theme for the World uh, 56 Communication Day 2022, Listen with your heart, the song that comes to our mind is, Listen, let your heart keep seeking. Listen to his constant speaking. Listen to the Spirit calling you. And this song is family to all of us. And this song is the real message our Holy Father wants to instill in our mind, instill in our mission. And now, the challenges which Dr. Peter rightly put out that we are losing the ability to listen to those in front of us, both in the normal course of everyday relationships and when debating the most important issues of civil life. Another challenge he rightly pointed out in the words of Pope Francis, one of the biggest problems in the world today is loneliness. In our life, we often meet people who ask a bit of our time to listen to them. And what could be our response 
through this webinar and through his address. We are reminded that one needs an atmosphere to share the good and bad moments of life with someone who can be trusted. They need no advice, no suggestions. They want only a listening ear. When confused or distressed, one is not even able to think of the medical help available. In such moments, intervention of friends, the Good Samaritan can bring life. Pope Francis reminds us the ability to listen to society is more valuable than ever in this time wounded by the long pandemic. So much previously accumulated mistrust towards official information has also caused an infodemic within which the world of information is increasingly struggling to be credible and transparent. We need to lend an ear and listen profoundly, especially to the social unease heightened by the downturn or cessation of many economic activities. I thank the organizers, renowned speakers, the participants of this webinar for listening to share this message as Pope Francis encourages us as we are messengers of his mercy, the apostles of evangelizers. We can listen with a heart to the Holy Spirit in solitude or in the midst of multitude. We can listen with the heart when we have our finger on the pulse of the society. We can listen with the heart when we have our ears to the ground. Thank you, Dr. Peter, and to all. Thank you.